highly complete coaxial flat speaker. Technix SB RX50. 64,800 yen times 2. The coaxial flat diaphragm did not suddenly appear, but was developed over many years with the will and tenacity of Technix. Measured at 16.3 kilograms, it is quite heavy considering its size. Walnut maybe not veneer finish. Just to clarify, veneer is a sheet made of natural wood with a thickness of 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters. It is more luxurious and expensive than the paper PVC sheet finish. Round baffle with R on top, bottom, left and right. A groove is cut between the top, bottom, left and right sides in the baffle, and the baffle body is slightly sunken. The baffle is 25 mm thick. The other five sides are 20 mm thick. A reinforcing frame cut out of a 20 mm thick board in the shape of a Japanese character is attached directly below the unit, connecting the front, rear, left and right sides, creating an enclosure with a rigid structure. The sound absorbing material is made of felt, which is placed on the top of the reinforcing frame on five sides. There is no sound absorbing material under the frame. Base reflex with a pipe duct at the bottom of the back. Normally, PVC or paper pipes are used, but this machine uses strong aluminum pipes to avoid resonance. Length 125 mm, outer diameter 75 phi, inner diameter 69 phi, wall thickness 3 mm. There is a coarse metal net on the inside, but this is probably to prevent rats and other animals from getting in, rather than to resist airflow. The input terminal is a large screw type and is easy to use. The unit is a die cast frame and weighs 6 kg, heavy weight. It is AV compatible and the size of the magnetic shield cover is huge at 165 Phi x 55 mm. The main magnet is 145 Phi x 20 mm, and the sub magnet is 125 x 15 mm. The woofer's diaphragm is made of aluminum honeycomb, but the skin material is made of pure cross carbon, and its rigidity is significantly improved compared to conventional Technics honeycomb discs. This diaphragm is driven by a 65 voice coil and a drive cone, and the inner edge of the woofer, its support frame, and tweeter are built into the dead space created by this cone and coil bobbin. Since the tweeter's best magnet can only hold about 50, the strongest samarium cobalt is used, and the diaphragm is mica. An equalizer that also serves as a guard is attached to the front to flatten out the high frequencies. The network consists of two coils, two electrolytic capacitors, and two small film capacitors for the woofer. The one for the tweeter is large, with one coil, one large film capacitor, and two medium capacitors. The F characteristics are wide and flat at any position, and because it is a bass reflex using a large duct, the sound drops below 30 Hz, but the audible low range is abundant. It has a lot of power for its size, can be played at a high volume, and has a powerful and large-scale sound. However, the sound is not overpowering, but delicate and sharp, the sound image is small and clear, and the sound field is wide. The realism of the vocals is amazing. If I had to say a drawback, it has plenty of bass, but it's a little heavy and dull. People who don't like this should choose a larger system. With this size and quality, it can be said to be a valuable product along with Onkyo's Monitor 500. Classy and elegant sound. Technics SB RX 70. 70,000 yen times 2. This is an upgraded model of the flat diaphragm coaxial SB RX 50. The dimensions are the same, but the square decorative panel is covered with mahogany colored vibration proofing material, and the screw heads are no longer visible, which improves the look, and the elimination of the attenuator is also nice. For comparison, data for the RX50 is shown in parentheses below. Actual weight 18.9 kg 16.3 kg, baffle 30 mm 25 mm, other 5 sides 25 mm 20 mm. You can see the slit just below the unit, 
and it is a separate baffle that is divided into upper and lower parts and joined together on the inside. The enclosure is also reinforced by combining square frames to provide three-dimensional reinforcement on six sides at the same time, making it an extremely strong enclosure. As for the sound-absorbing material, felt is used a lot as a base reflex. The duct is an aluminum pipe, Phi 40 times 120 mm Phi 69 times 125 mm. The back plate is removable with 15 screws. The unit is fitted inside. Although I didn't remove it, the external shape and woofer magnetic circuit are the same as the RX50, and the weight is probably the same at 6 kg. The woofer magnet is double Phi 145 x 20 mm plus Phi 120 x 15 mm, with a magnetic shield cover of Phi 165 x 55 mm. The diaphragm is aluminum honeycomb, and the skin material is pure mica pure cross carbon. The tweeter magnet is made of the strongest neodymium samarium cobalt. The diaphragm is made of mica with diamond coating on both sides mica without coating, increasing both rigidity and internal loss. Ideally, the diaphragms of the woofer and tweeter should be on the same plane. The voice coil that generates the driving force is located much further back in the woofer, so it cannot be said to be linear phase. The input terminals support by wiring, and the network consists of the woofer and tweeter, which are individually glued to a particle board and then attached to the backboard. It has three coils, five electrolytic capacitors, four film capacitors, and three resistors, making the woofer 6 dB per oct with impedance compensation and peak cancellation by LC resonance. The tweeter is 18 dB per oct with attenuator. Judging from the impedance characteristics, it's a bass reflex with a tuning of about 36 Hz and a weak effect. I tried to measure the F characteristics of the unit alone using the bi-wiring terminal, but 2 is the woofer, 3 is the tweeter, and 4 is two-way operation, and all are 1M above the axis. 5 is F special at 3M. As expected, it is well controlled and has amazing characteristics. The low range is well extended, but I would like a little more volume. Although the low end of the RX50 has dropped dramatically, the level from 40 to 100 Hz is high. As for the sound, whereas the RX50 had a slightly harsh accent, it has a smooth, elegant sound. The high range is particularly impressive, and I wish it were available as a single tweeter. The sound quality is fine, the distortion is minimal, the sound field is good, and the depth development is more impressive than the front projection. The sound image is also tight, but the contours are not exaggerated and are soft and natural. Sound, space and detail. It was praised for its descriptive power similar to that of a precise camera. Coaxial flat two-way refined. The expressive power of space and detail. We will polish it up further and deliver it to you. Silent reference. The moment the performance stopped, the hall appeared before my eyes, as if the fog had cleared. The silence is packed with information that enriches the music. Technic's new speaker concept is silent reference. The idea is to realistically reproduce space and detail, including a separate baffle that minimizes vibration transmission from the unit. It brings together a number of technologies such as a sealed frame and a cross-bridged enclosure. Furthermore, the diaphragm is made of mica, a natural material that does not generate unnecessary noise and has excellent reproducibility of minute signals. The tweeter uses a neodymium magnet that boasts a magnetomotive force that exceeds that of Alnico. The details of the music stand out clearly in a completely transparent and quiet space.